Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to design this sidebar using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So let's start. So here I am using online editor that is Code Pen editor. So in HTML tab, first of all, I will write a markup to design this sidebar. So my markup contains a one div tag which contain this unordered list which contain these three list items that is home, about, and contact. and one hamburger menu i will design it using a span tags so first of all i will write a markup so first of all i will create a one div tag and assign id of sidebar close the div tag so my div tag contain this unordered list which contain three list items that is home about and contact so first of all i will write an order list which contain three list items so first one is home then i copy it and paste it for two more times the second one is about and the third one is contact then i will add a markup to design this hamburger menu So before the unordered order list i will create one div tag and assign a class of toggle button this div contain three span tag to design this three sticks so i will write span then i will copy it and paste it for two more times then i will open css tab to design this sidebar and hamburger menu So first of all, I will select global selector that is star, and remove the margin, and remove the padding, and set the font uh, font family of sans serif to all the markup elements. Then I will select this sidebar. and add a css styles to it so i will write hash to select this id and write the id name that is sidebar so first of all i will make its position fixed so i will write position then i will give a 200 pixel width to this sidebar by giving the width property that is 200 pixel then i will give height of 100% then i will give the background to this sidebar so i am using hex color that is 15 17 and 19 so as you can see it contain 200 pixel width 100% height and having the background of 15 17 19 19 that is a hex color then i will design this list item which is inside this ul tag so i will write hash sidebar select the ul and inside that select li so first of all i will change the font color so i will write color i will give rgba color that is red green blue and alpha so i will give 230 230 230 and alpha value of 0.9 then i will remove the bullets of this unordered list by giving list style none then i will give the little bit of padding by using padding property uh, i will specify two paddings first one is a padding from top and bottom that is 15 pixel uh, second is from the left and right so i will write 10 pixel so it will give uh, 15 pixel from top and bottom and 10 pixel from left and right then i will assign a border bottom property to each of the li by saying border bottom 1 pixel solid and the color is i am giving rgba color that is 100 100 100 and the alpha value of 0.3 so as you can see we have designed this sidebar now we want to design this uh, hamburger menu so in order to design this hamburger menu I will select this class that is that is toggle hyphen button. So I will write hash 
साइड बार इन साइड दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल सिलेक्ट दिस टॉगल हाइफन बटन बाय सेइंग डॉट क्लास नेम दैट इज टॉगल हाइफन बटन आई विल मेक इट्स पोजीशन एब्सोल्यूट सो आई विल राइट पोजीशन एब्सोल्यूट देन आई विल मूव इट फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड बाय द 230 पिक्सेल सो आई विल राइट लेफ्ट 230 पिक्सेल and move it from the top side by the 20 pixel then i will design the span tag which is inside this toggle hyphen button so i will copy it and paste it there and write the span tag so it will select all of the three span tags which is inside this uh, div having the uh, class of toggle hyphen button so first of all i will display them on a separate line by saying display block so i will write display block then i will assign a width of 30 pixel and the height of 5 pixel then i will give the background color to each of the span by, by using background property so i am giving same color that is 15 17 19 hex color so as you can see there are three span tags but they are very close to each other so i will give them margin bottom and top so i will write margin i am giving top and bottom by saying 3 pixel 0 pixel so it will give 3 pixel margin from top and bottom and 0 pixel from left and right i will increase it to the 5 pixel so as you can see we have designed the hamburger menu also now i want to add the functionality of hiding and displaying the sidebar when i click on this hamburger menu so in order to do that first of all i will attach on click event listener to this div uh, div of uh, having the class of toggle hyphen button so i will write on click i will call a one function that is toggle sidebar so when i click on this uh, toggle hyphen button that is this hamburger menu it will call this toggle sidebar function we will we will define this function in this js tab so before that first of all i will add one more property inside this sidebar having id sidebar that is left property so by default the sidebar is on the left side by minus 200 pixel that is the minus width 200 pixel and i will add active class when i add active class to this sidebar i will display the side bar by saying left 0 pixel so my by default side bar is on the left side by the minus 200 pixel but when i add active class to this side bar it will set the css property of left to the 0 pixel so that it can be visible so now in javascript i will toggle this class on this id side bar so first of all i will define this function that is toggle side bar so i'll write a function function name open and close parenthesis so first of all i will select this div having the id of sidebar by using document dot get element by id function so i will write document dot get element by id sidebar then i am using class list property and running a toggle function so it will toggle the particular class on this element which is having the id of the sidebar so in this we have to mention the class name that is active and semicolon so when i click on this as you can see the sidebar is visible and when i again click on this the sidebar is not visible because of the uh, left property of minus 200 pixel so in order to add this smoothness i will write a transition property in uh, sidebar so i will write transition all duration that is 500 millisecond and the property name that is linear so as you can see when i click on this button 
the sidebar is open smoothly and again click on it it will again close smoothly so this is the way you can design the sidebar using html css and javascript so thanks for watching if you like this video then please hit like button and subscribe for more videos thanks